It is an absolutely gorgeous Saturday morning. It was about 75 degrees when we left Williams um, about 30 minutes ago, and we are making our way down to Sedona on Arizona 89, so it's very beautiful, very forested, but also a very curvy at times um, road. So we are looking forward to the drive and we are looking even more forward to finally getting to Sedona. When we realized that we were gonna be coming through I-40 in this area, we thought there's no way that we can be this close and not go see these red rocks um, that we've heard so much about for so long. So we're looking forward to getting down there and um, having a great few hours exploring the city. Sedona is often referred to as one of the most beautiful places in the world. Surrounded by 1.8 million acres of national forest land, it's easy to see why so many people flock to Sedona to admire its natural beauty. But is there more to Sedona? Many believe that Sedona's beauty is the result of the vortexes, which lie within the array of sandstone formations. The Sedona vortexes are said to be transformational energy centers located at specific sites where natural electromagnetic earth energy, or ley lines, intersect. In 1980, a local Sedona medium named some of the vortexes, but the renown for spiritual awakening has existed long before. Native Americans recognized the spiritual energy provided by this area and used the sites of the vortexes in sacred ceremonies. As we headed south, we asked ourselves if we might experience the so-called Spirit of Sedona, the feeling of euphoria shared by its many pilgrims. After all, as full-time travelers, we surely can use all the good vibes we can get. These are all people walking to Slide Rock State Park. It's about half a mile away. Walking on a very precarious, oh my God, perched trail, but there's really not anywhere for them to walk on the highway. Texas, crystals. We enter the town and the red rocks with open minds, ready to soak up all of Sedona's magic, as well as its beauty. I would say that for us, the most difficult thing about coming to a town or a city is trying to find parking. And today, really no exception. But I will say that Sedona does a good job. I was able to go on their website and get a, a PDF map of all of their free parking. And, um, and they're really well signed. Um, so we drove around for a little bit. And then we saw, we tried two parking lots that we thought would be the easiest to get to. Um, as you can see on this one, this is lot one. Um, all day free parking, RVs and buses are welcome. And um, really not many people at all on this lot, so we were able to fit. Now we're gonna work our way over to Uptown and get a bite to eat.
to the uptown area just off of 89 and we are eating lunch at Open Range. Um, haven't tried the food. Let me just show you our view. food in the as soon as he saw the nachos at the other table. And I went with the turkey club. It's the best we could do. You're definitely gonna pay for a view like this, but you know what? The portions were very large, and it was really good. I did a little bit better with mine. Even Justin's feeling it. He wanted to come into what he called an earthy store. You're not feeling that much, huh? Pretty though. in order to get a nice view. It was $3 to get a permit to park, but a very wide open parking lot, which you know, we love. Um, and now we're just gonna walk across the street and get a nice view. Walking back out to the truck, just right across the little road, and we're gonna go see what else we can find from the comfort of our air conditioned truck. Because it's not that hot, it is hot. Pro tip, 
if you're visiting the chapel in Sedona, don't try to go all the way up the hill to try to get good viewpoints because you can actually see much better the chapel anyway from down below. And it's a lot less stressful. by Bell Rock to try to get um, one last kind of example of the famous vortexes of Sedona, but it was on the other side. It's hot. We've got to get back to um, take care of the dogs. So we are heading back to Flagstaff. All in all, pretty good day. Woo! A little bumpy. Um, very warm day. Beautiful day. Not very many clouds in the sky, which meant the sun was out in full force and um, just a little warm for us. So we are um, calling it a day. Had a good one though. Definitely want to come back to Sedona, um, but definitely want to come maybe in the fall so that we can really have, um, have a better temperature outside and then also would really like to be able to find a way to stay a little bit closer so that we have more time either more time all at once or have multiple opportunities to come into town and take advantage of the hikes the trails um, all of those things to see the natural aspects of Sedona the shopping was fine we're not huge shoppers though so um, definitely the um, the outdoor aspects would be something that we would want to come back to and to experience. Anything you'd like to say? Okay, good, because the battery's dying. Bye-bye. Forgot to wash the windows, Lori. There's walking out here. For real. Justin's getting photos. Instagram photos. For the gram. For the gram. <laughs> Can't believe I just did Cut. <laughs> 